Well, hi, this is LeGuane coming to you from the Glover Agency in Fenton, Michigan. And today I'm planning on taking you on a neighborhood tour of Woodfield. Now, Woodfield's located in the extreme south end of Grand Blanc. And as a matter of fact, part of it is actually in Oakland County. And I just love this neighborhood because it has so many different types of homes in it. Single family homes, condos, and it has a public golf course and country club with a restaurant right in the middle of the neighborhood. So stay tuned, we're gonna get right to it. Now Woodfield is located in the southeast corner of Grand Blank near East Baldwin Road and South Saginaw Road. There are three entrances into this neighborhood. One is right up here on Baldwin Road and the other is right up here on Saginaw and that will take you back in. And then the third is all the way down here on the south end, comes out onto McClelland Road, which is nice because it is a pretty large neighborhood. As you can see, it has a golf course all the way through it. Now this is a public course, and there also is a country club, restaurant, etc., where you can rent carts out. It's important to note that this, this particular neighborhood, there are three different school districts, and part of it is actually in Oakland County, and part of it's in Genesee County. So we have uh, Goodrich schools, which are gonna be over here, and also down probably over here. Holly schools, which will be in the southernmost end, and then Grand Blank schools are going to be all over in this area here. So stay tuned, because we're going for a ride. As we're coming in, you can see all the flowers and the trees. And these are all lit up through the holidays. It's really beautiful. It's a kind of a long entrance in here. All these trees. All this is taken care of by the Homeowners Association. There's actually like a little bridge area up here. Okay, so here we are in the single family part of Woodfield. As you can see, we mainly have colonial style homes. There are a few Cape Cods here. And this neighborhood is built in and around a golf course. So many of these homes are either fronting fairways or greens. I love that they have really cool, I guess you call them old fashioned light poles in this neighborhood. And also sidewalks, which make it awesome for walking. I spent a lot of hours walking in this neighborhood with a girlfriend of, of mine. Coming down the main drag into Woodfield, we have some of the wetlands and you can see some of the cart paths that go through the neighborhood. So this is kind of a, a mixed use neighborhood. There's many, many different types of developments here. We have single family homes, which we're gonna see a little bit more of. And then up here, we're gonna go into the enclaves of Woodfield, which have even larger homes, larger price point. I would say homes in this neighborhood, single family homes are probably ranging from about four, 450 maybe to five or so, just, um, I think five would be about the top in this main part of the neighborhood. There is an association here for the single family homes that equals about $400 a year. And of course they take care of that beautiful entryway, all the trees. And if you live in a condo, you're probably paying anywhere from three to 420 a month in association fees, depending on your situation, if you're attached or detached, it could be less if you're detached. So right up here, we are going to be entering the enclaves. As you can see, there's a ton of trees in here. It's really beautiful. This is uh, early October and we're starting to get some leaves changing here in mid Michigan. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be around 70 here today. And here are 
some of the homes in the enclaves. And as you can see, they're just a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit bigger yards than some of the other homes have. Definitely more privacy back here with wooded backyards. There's still a few lots available if you want to build your dream house back here. Now we're coming back into the cul-de-sac. As you can see, really beautiful homes. Most people in this neighborhood take really good care of their yards and their homes. Now, one of the things that is kind of cool about this neighborhood is it probably runs a good mile, maybe even two in length and probably about a mile in depth. So it's a pretty big neighborhood area, and I'll show you some of the multi, some of the uses they've done. There's several different condos in here, several different condo associations. Um, And on the left up here, there are a couple of homes for sale that are in about the 450 range. You can see the golf course right ahead of us over there. And one of these homes I showed, and the other one just across the street, which we're going to see here on this side, just went on the market probably in the last month or two. This is a pretty classic fall day in Michigan. I love how the leaves as they're turning gold kind of make a gold light. Makes everything a little golden. Here we have more golf course. So one thing you have to kind of watch for in this neighborhood as in Warwick is golf carts that will be coming across the roads or possibly driving through the roads. So now we're going to make the turn here to go to the Captain's Club golf course, which is or the club actually. So this is an event center, banquet hall, um, a lot of class reunions are held there. Actually, my brokerage has their uh, Christmas parties and things here oftentimes. So it's a really nice facility downstairs. There's actually a restaurant there. It is open through the week, so if you live here, you can come up and have dinner. And even if you don't live here, um, they have trivia nights and all kinds of events going on. It's a busy golf day today because it's beautiful out. Now we're entering into Champions Club condominiums. Here. This is kind of a small little condominium complex. These condos are um, probably ranging between uh, 290 to 330. They're attached, so and you do have snow removal and yards taken care of. Most of these condos range between 1400 and 1700 although many have finished basements, which give you additional square footage. Again, lots of uh, privacy. It's very, very quiet. We've had a number of friends who've lived back here over the years into what's called Sunrise. 
And there are condos back here that are attached. They are much smaller. Now these condos run a little less. I think they are running about 200 now in the 200 range. Uh, not too long ago, they were a lot less. You know, everything has gone up in value. This is some of the unfinished portions. And here we've got a good amount of the area far south end of this neighborhood. And we're going to see some of the areas that are serviced by Holly Schools. And it's mainly condos in that area. I do not believe we have any single family homes over there. Such a pretty home right there with all the stone. A lot of Georgian colonials back here. Now we are in Edgewood, and these are actually like townhomes. So they're not attached, or at least in most cases. No, they're not attached. Unattached uh, townhomes. And these also are running around three, probably 350. I mean, listen to how quiet it is here. There is just nothing but leaves blowing and birds tweeting. Continuing on down Edgewood, this is where we have a lot of the detached or townhome type homes. So again, on these homes, you know, you'd probably have, I'm not even sure if they have snow removal, they must. I'm sure that they might pay some type of a association fee and they probably get lawn and snow service here. Now there's actually three entrances and or exits to this neighborhood. The one we came in on Saginaw. And as we get further to the south, there's another exit. Which is kind of nice, I guess. If you've got this big of a neighborhood, you sure don't want everyone to have to funnel out through one or two entrances. Kind of helps to keep the, probably the traffic down, pulling in and out. So what do you guys think? Does this look like a nice place to live? Could you see yourself living here?